Hi, I'm Katie. I've been surrounded with vintage goodies most of my life. But just in the last 10 years, I've figured out just how much delight I get from having it in my home and looking at it for other people. Come along as I share my shopping adventures at thrift stores, estate sales, and sometimes even along the curb. I will also be showing some of my decorating projects that I've completed and how I have chosen to add vintage to my home for a modern granny chic look. I hope you will find joy along the way as we reawaken vintage. All right, it's not a sickness, guys, really. I'm back at the Goodwill bins. So what happened is that I happened to be looking at some other thrift stores that were close by and not realizing that they were right by the bins. So this is day number two. I can't get any of the carts to come apart. <laughs> We're going to try again. Wish me luck. Might show you around a little bit this time. Last time I didn't. Okay, so I had some really good luck yesterday with some vintage linens. Again, for the most part, I want things that nobody else wants. So, so that's a really a plus for me. They're getting lined up. You see them? They're lined up writing for another bin. So... We will start with the back, probably, and then look at somebody's pile. Oh my gosh. Um, we will work our way to the front from there. So we're following some bins that are going back in after people have looked through them. And we'll see what else we can find, guys. Wish you luck. So you'll park your cart along the wall someplace, and then you just go to town. So not for everybody, and I forgot my gloves. Wish me luck. Okay guys, just giving you a little update of what happens in here. Amazing stuff, vintage linens with bluebirds, tablecloths, all kinds of stuff. It is a good thing I do not live in a city where there is a good linen outlet because I'd be in trouble. So I found this bag, I've been walking around, filling it up and then coming back. Wish me luck. Guys, I'm done. I got a dog bed, or a dog stairs, we'll see. We have a little dachshund if you've seen the video, Sabrina. So. This is the car from yesterday's trip. <laughs> and now I have to add two more big bags. I really can't come back again because this is just, my husband has to fit things. We have to fit our luggage in here, but it's been super fun. Well, hello, hello everybody. Okay, Goodwill bin trip number two. Now remind you, exact same location, less than 24 hours later, but, always new stuff, right? I don't know how often they take the stuff from the actual Goodwill stores and bring them to the outlet bin stores, but I, you could, it was an experiment. Yes, just for you guys. You could technically go every day. Again, as I mentioned earlier, it's a good thing there's not one close by me. So let's just go over the things first that were not um, fabric related, and then we'll go from there. A little better day when it came to this sort of stuff. Some kitschy old, I love these signs, the Joy and the Noel sign, right? The little kits that you could get. I'm gonna keep this for myself because I have a Santa Claus collection. This is actually pretty heavy. Don't know if it was like a Hobby Lobby or something like that. That I can see one of these is stuck. Um, napkin rings. Who wants a set of three Mrs. Claus? <laughs> I was really hoping I could find a set of four, but I couldn't. So I'll probably sell all of this stuff. It could have all been the same person. Okay, I I don't know why I liked these. I I probably, again, maybe just for Christmas time. I can't imagine having these out. Um, the dim lighting in my room does not do this justice. There's two of them. This one is a little, a little wilder. <laughs> to stay on the Christmas trend a little bit. Again, this probably was like 10 cents because everything goes by weight. Some gift tags. And then um, I've always liked these. I um, don't know if it was handmade or store-bought, but just the little garland. It's kind of a little twisted with the fuzzy balls and the beads. Um, this was the place for coat hangers. <laughs> Brooks Brothers. But it is Goodwill. Got home, realized. It, we're going to say it's glue. Something tells me it might be gum, but we're going to go with glue. So a few wooden, this is a vintage one for sure. And then we've got the old you, who did this? Whose grandma did this? The padded coat hangers. Some of these are older, you can see, right by the color. And then 
Some of them are newer, better shine, but still, we sell them all as a set. And then two other Hamilton cleaners. Oh, it's just one, Katie. Just one. <clears throat> it just needs to be snapped back in. This, all right, do any of you guys have something like this? I have a beach theme both in my guest bedroom and my office at work. It's brand new, still in the package. Lights up. I'm not quite sure where the lights are going to be. This might actually end up being the most gaudy thing, and there might be a very good reason why. Even at three ninety nine at Goodwill, it did not, <laughs> it did not sell. I'm trying to see like where the holes are. I might do a follow up at the end and just let you know if it even worked. Okay, more little random things. A little metal heart for Valentine's Day. This I thought was pretty cool. It doesn't have a whole lot of its liquid left. Let me see if I can get it in better light. This is a vintage snow globe from Paris, but instead of snow, it's gold glitter. I mean, this is definitely older. Super fun. Somebody's going to love that. I was hoping to find more. I found only one plastic <laughs> little kid's cup. We all need a peep. Little flag, a little garden flag. <coughs> I was super excited with this at first because I was like, oh my gosh, it's red. It's a heart. Somebody spray painted it red. <laughs> That's okay. They did a good job. And then to keep with that heart theme, this was actually really nice. They did a good job of this. I'm assuming this is from a store. A vintage. Anybody know what it is? It's a scoop for bird feed. Bird seed, right? Kind of old. Looks old from the handle. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Still getting over my flu. Our last name begins with an A. Thought it was pretty cool. Don't know what I'll do with it. A few tiny little trees. Vintage trees. I got tops for stuff I do not have. A hand mirror. I thought it was interesting. I think it's in Spanish. Anybody know what that says? Again, that's not the price I paid. That's how much they were trying to get at it at a regular Goodwill. Don't know if that's that old, but I thought it was interesting. This is older. Wizen Madonna. It's a Hummel picture in a really old frame. Just some random Halloween things. Thought that this was a cute little cat. Got some old baking trays. Brodies. <coughs> of an X. <coughs> Excuse me. And a Brodies. <coughs> Again. Sorry about that. <clears throat> the coughing got intense there for a second. The fun is fine, I think. Vintage. Not in the best condition. Vintage stuffed animal. Look at this poodle. The neck needs some tea. I mean, this is for someone that really wants to do some TLC on this thing. It needs a little stuffing, a little sewing in its neck. It's a little dirty, but it's a vintage. Come on now. <clears throat> <clears throat> you did not listen to this to listen to me cough. Contents, all new material. Fena number 72. So not in horrible condition. Somebody's going to want this. I know they are. <laughs> okay, what else? I got a couple of pots because, like, I don't have enough gardening to do. A vintage book. Follow my leader, Children's Book Club. 1958. A still in package vintage paper tablecloth. From someplace Steinfeld's Tucson, originally, 79 cents. This is just a random bag of crafting stuff that I grabbed. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to now put all the other stuff on the bed from, again, bin trip number two. All right, as in our last bin video, if you haven't watched that, go check it out. I don't have anything organized <laughs> neatly for you. We're just going to go through the big bag of... Things that were fabrics that I purchased. Towel, just for me. Shams, just for me. <laughs> we'll start with all the stuff that have no importance. Um, I liked this. I have these for the holidays, right? They're pillow covers, but I like that this was an oblong one. I'll be keeping that. <clears throat> what, oh, for Christmas. Just chill. T-shirt. Thought that was super cute. I'll keep that. 
I like this for the kitchen. It's got little hearts on it. It's in my pile first. Let's see what else. I don't know. Okay, well, we'll go on. What else do we have in this pile? Oh, t-shirt for my husband. <laughs> okay, so I'll remember it all. It'll all start to come back to me. I want to say, so this is a pillowcase that has been hand done. I want to say there's two of them. We'll see if I can find the other one. And again, always the loom, right, that the kids would make. I think they're still around, right? We've got a little like a tea towel, smaller on the smaller side. And let's see what this is. Oh, this I was super excited about. Look at this for you, those of you that are bluebird lovers. Hand-stitched pillowcase. I was really hoping I would be able to find two, but I couldn't. But it's absolutely beautiful and really, really good condition. <clears throat> We've got a small tablecloth that looks to be in good condition with very pretty blue hand-stitching. I was wondering, I'm like, it looks a little thready. That's the underside of it. There we go. Beautiful. Again, if you're interested in anything I'm showing you here, email me at reawakenvintage at gmail.com or comment below. I will have measurements and with time I'll get all this posted. Another cute little tablecloth. Just very, very beautiful stitchery. Just so pretty. Got that one. Another just a little napkin with the stitching. We've got some more groovy hot pads and some more just fun, fun colors. A Christmas one. We got a little Christmas stocking. What else is in here? Oh, that's just a little felt stocking. Another one. I'll probably just sell a lot of these pot holders like in a, just a random grab bag set. Okay, let's see. What was this big thing that I got? Don't even remember, guys. Don't even remember, but it's big. Oh, oh yes. So, this is, it looks to me, a sheet. I don't think it's super vintage. I don't see a brand, like an actual tag. Maybe it has been cut off. But look at this sheet. It's just probably machine, not hand stitched, unless this was somebody's plain sheet and they just went to town on it. Look at that. Big bouquet basket of flowers. It does have, unfortunately, one little hole there and it has the person's name on it. But it's not that noticeable. It was hand stitched. Mrs. Rosa R. Alfaro. I just hand, is that even hand stitched or is that, I don't know. So that's what tells me that somebody took a regular sheet and took the time to make this. Just beautiful. So if you don't mind a sheet that has somebody's name on it, because you really can't notice it. Okay. <clears throat> this one does have a little bit of soiling to it, but again, so pretty. It matches the basket of that sheet. And then we've got a little grab bag of stuff. We'll go through the bags in a second here. Got another tablecloth, hand stitch, kind of a southwestern look to it, right? We've got the cowboy. And then it's got the looking, I'm assuming that's the sombrero, but I thought really, really cute. Very well done. <clears throat> we got. Another tablecloth. I'm telling you, it was just so much fun. Again, nobody, everybody in these bins is looking for clothes. And I'm sitting here pulling out all of this beautiful vintage linen. This one might not be super old, but it's so pretty. Okay. This, it is super heavy. I am trying to figure out what it is. I think it's a basket. Right? Would, for like a plant that you put a potted plant in. I just thought it was super groovy. Love the colors. Won't be keeping it. It'll be up for sale. I got just the cover. I know you're going to think I'm weird. Just the cover to a vintage, guess what it is? Vintage heating pad. 
This was the label. You can't see the name anymore. I was really hoping to find the actual heating pad, but I couldn't. But I just thought it was pretty. And I've sold quite a few vintage heating pads, if you're just wondering if there's a market for that. Why did I grab this towel? <laughs> By accident? Oh, no, I didn't. Look at it. Christmas kitty, as kitschy as can be. <laughs> and it's a JCPenney. This is a full-on towel, like not a hand towel. <laughs> this, is, this is a bath towel for Christmas. Why not? Okay, now to get to what was in these bags. I just grabbed the bags as is with everything in them. Said they looked good. We'll see what's in it. So you and I get to check it out together. So we've got, oh, it's pretty. It's got a lady, a lady playing, you know, it's not a banjo. Why does she look a little bit? <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. I'm just so, what's the What's the Halloween movie with Bette Midler? Why can I not remember anything right now? You know what I'm talking about. It looks like a little bit like the Bette Midler lady. <laughs> oh, somebody was trying to sell these for 10 cents each, whatever they are. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's a tortilla warmer. Oh, very soft inside. Hand looks like a hand-stitched one. <laughs> what a tortilla warmer. We've got this tiny... And again, interesting shape, right? One end is like that. One end is flat. Just pretty cute little things to put on your tables, under candles, under plants. Again, I'll probably be selling some of these as like a set. There's just, again, just a tiny little one. Just a cute little one. And then this, oh, it's a napkin. One, two napkins. Okay. And here, okay, are you familiar with... When they would take this stuff and like, what did you do to it? How would you like starch it? So that's what this is. This is now a little hat that is hard as can be. And then we've got, oh, that's actually pretty. What is it? It's an Asian look to it. I don't know, but it's pretty. And then this one is not old at all. You can kind of tell. This is just some trim. And it's even... Oh, it's coming apart. Just so this is just somebody's little little doily bag is what this was. Another little starched item. And another one. Cute for Easter time, I would think, right? Little baskets. That's what somebody did there. Some more little doilies. Somebody has a price tag on that one, 50 cents. So that's what this is. That bag was a little dirty. There is now stuff all over my bed. Okay, so ooh, that's a pretty one. So lots of little things there. So again, probably just selling, selling this stuff as a lot to just get rid of it. So super excited that I found some more vintage clothing. If you were watching episode one, I showed you two children's vintage clothing pieces that I had found. Well, I probably found the rest of it the next day when I went back. So we've got an adorable little child's yellow sweater look at that it's dirty sorry it's from that pot i bought and it has some it still had some dirt in it we've got an adorable little pink dress again a couple little stains but not bad don't see any the other two had tags on them i haven't come across anything in this set yet that has tags so some of this could be handmade stuff Another cute, cute magic for Christmas time. Look at that. Cute little girl sweater. And we have this. Another little hand-stitched sweater. Just adorable. Okay. Then we have like a little boy's sleeper, right? I mean, this is when they're really, really tiny. This one couldn't have been handmade. If you look very closely, it's little deers running. Super cute. And we have a Again, I, I just love this stitching. Is there a name for what they did there? Um, again, I think it's a handmade piece. You can kind of tell right by the stitching at the bottom. And more. Little rubber panties, right? It's got the rubber inside. And, oh, what's this? Oh, vintage socks, guys. I couldn't pass them up. I was just like, when do you see little kids' socks? We'll get to that in a minute. This is a little doll dress. There's another sock. So we've got two pairs of socks. Oh, there's another sock. I think I wore socks like that. Three pairs of socks. 
And then we have, look at that, like a pretty cute little Easter dress. Again, I think these are all handmade items, but done very, very well. One shoe. Yep, I only found one shoe. I don't know if you want one baby shoe. It's felt, super cute, but I don't know what you do with just one. Um, one sock. <laughs> I meant, I really did mean to go through all this, and then before I went to the cash register, I was going to pull out the things, you know, because I grab them figuring, well, as I continue to look in the bin, I'll find the mate. I forgot to go back. This is super heavy. Super heavy, well-made. Little girl sweater. Oh, my goodness. Okay, what else? Oh, more pairs of socks. Oh, now these are cool. These are, if you can tell, a pair of blue and a pair of pink. And they have some design on them, but I don't know if it's meant to be anything. If you flip it the way it would be worn, it's just little flowers, I think. But So we'll probably sell that as a whole lot. Oh, there's another who wants just random boot. Oh, oh, hey, I did it, guys. I got a pair. Again, these are all like just beautiful Easter colors. Like, I got to get these listed because these are good things. A little hat. Again, more a couple of little doll clothes. Another little hat. Again, needs a little washing. These are just, oh my goodness, just adorable. Another random shoe, guys. So oh, call me the random shoe lady, but not just any shoes, baby shoes. <clears throat> Another just adorable little girl. This almost feels, oh, it's lined, almost feels wool. Again, just handmade in really good condition. <clears throat> Look at that old zipper. <clears throat> And then we've got a very, this is not vintage at all, but look at that for a baby's room. Just really cute, a little dick ducky. And then we're almost done with the video, guys. Oh my goodness, that old baby blanket. Sorry, guys. It wants to stick to the plastic. Pink color. But look at it. What is those? Little chicks? It has somebody's name, but most of the embroideries come off. So you, oh, wait, it's not somebody's name. It's like little pieces of like flower and grass and stuff. And then another little chicken, I guess. And then there's a chicken on, well, this is strange. How would you display this? <laughs> I have no idea. The chickens, two chickens there, and then one on the opposite side. As if you would fold it. Okay. And then last but not least, a vintage. I'll let you look at it so you can see what kind of light bulb. Just the one that slips over. Cat. It says Maxie's lampshade for like a little kid's room. Or a grown woman's room that loves cats. Okay, guys. <laughs> lots and lots of stuff. Lots and lots of stuff. My poor bedroom. I got to do a lot of washing of some stuff, some stuff I'm leaving as is. Thank you all for watching. Continue to watch as there'll be more episodes out of our um, visit to Arizona and all the goodies we got. Until then, bye-bye. Okay, I promised you folks. <laughs> Are you ready for the brilliance of my new battery-operated piece of art? Here you go. I really paid no attention, so it's the burning, flickering candle. There you go. We'll go put this in my um, office at work. <laughs> See what kind of response we get. Thanks again for watching.